Previously with Chelsea Rain. Hey everyone, I'm here in my kitchen right now. It is, um, I would say breakfast time. It's 11, but I'm about to make breakfast. I'm uh, making some scrambled eggs, um, one yolk and four egg whites and some um, oatmeal, half cup of oatmeal. So uh, before I move on to making my breakfast, I usually make a cup of this collagen drink that I just got recently whenever I went to the expo um, in Austin. It is the NeoCell Beauty Infusion. And it's a collagen drink mix. It has collagen, um, hyaluronic acid, biotin, and ALA. And uh, it's a tangerine twist flavor. It's really good. And it says that it's good to take um, or it works best on an empty stomach. So I usually drink it before I eat breakfast. What? What? <laughs> huh? Are you making a YouTube video? Yeah, I am. Do you want to be in it? So I have my burner on. So Why? the pan is nice and hot. And this is some... Uh, You're Toast. Thanks, Julian. And this is the salmon that I made yesterday, so I'll be using this um, like half maybe in the salmon. I mean, not in the salmon, in the eggs. And so I have my eggs, and I'll be using this uh, coconut oil. Um, this is a reused coconut oil jar, but it's fresh coconut oil from Belize. So I like to use this in my cooking because. It uh, has like a lot of flavor. I really don't know how to describe it, but it just makes everything taste delicious. Right now I'm putting the coconut oil before I put the piece of salmon in. And I usually put like a teaspoon, maybe more, just depends on how I feel. Maybe two. Okay, adding the salmon now. So yeah, you just uh, you just like chop it up with your spatula or however you want to do it. So this is the salmon. I'm letting it heat up for a little bit before I put the eggs in and the seasoning. So I put the eggs in. Now I'm about to add the seasonings, and I'll be using garlic powder, some basil leaves onion powder, a little bit of seasoned salt, some black pepper, and maybe some of this chipotle salt-free seasoning. It's actually tasting not bad. It's actually it tastes a lot. Really? You like it? Mm-hmm. Some good, some good eggs? Mm-hmm. That's good. Are you taking a video? Now for the oatmeal, it's a half cup. Um, I believe Everyone these... Everyone knows how to make that. Yes, I believe this is like a quarter. Um, so I know it would be two of these to make the half. But since because of the sugar, I use one of the maple brown sugar and then I use the rest of these Quaker Oats Old Fashioned. And I like to use this along with this because um oh well got the wrong oops here it's flour okay, so i like to use this to sweeten this one so just kind of all right okay and i put it in the microwave for a minute if it seems like it's a little bit too watery, I put it in for another 30 to 45 seconds. I just got done making my breakfast. So I have the oatmeal here along with the scrambled eggs and salmon with a cold bottle of water. And so I'm about to eat this, take my morning supplements, and then get dressed. 
go to Starbucks to upload my video to YouTube. I want to go. And the reason I do that is just because the Wi-Fi here is really, really bad. Uh, the last time I tried to upload to YouTube, it said that it would take 867 minutes for a like three minute video. So um, that's what I'm gonna do after this. I'm in the car now. It is almost almost two o'clock. Um, and are you recording? Yeah, so we are actually going to head to the hospital to visit my dad and I'll be doing the upload there. And so after that, probably uh, check out some supplement stores, probably get a workout in, not sure yet, but I know I'm going to this uh, like calisthenic boot camp class at, at seven in Houston. So I'm really excited about that. Hey, I'm at the hospital now in the waiting room. My video is processing now. I don't know why I said it like that. Processing. Processing. Uh, now on YouTube. So it's at 50%, only three more minutes until it is live on YouTube. And I will also uh, post a link on my Facebook page and my Twitter, possibly Instagram too. My uncle took my old brothers to get some food. So I'm just here by myself hanging out and after that, uh, really don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow today. I'm actually going to start posting videos more frequently, and I'm gonna try out different styles of videos too to kind of see what I like and what you guys like. So really feel free to like let me know um, any tips or suggestions on like videos or how I should do them or if I should add anything, because that would really help me a lot to make videos that you enjoy. Instead of the calisthenics class that I was gonna do today, I decided that I'm going to work out again with um, Javon and Christian and possibly Nikki, I'm not sure if she's gonna be there, but uh, today it's six, so I'm gonna do that and then do the class on Tuesday at seven instead of today. So um, it's currently 3.17 and I'm still waiting um, until my uncle and brothers get back so I can leave. But until then, I'll be watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and probably watch YouTube videos and browse on Instagram. Really not much to do. I don't even bring snacks. So sad. So it is 5.11. I was, a little, I was there a little bit longer than I thought but I'm gonna stop at HEB to pick up something uh, to eat and drink and then head back over to go work out. Well, not head back, but head over to work out uh, with Javon and them, so that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm the only girl working out right now, so just trying to keep up with the guys. Yeah, it's a, I have a lot of competition of my weight. <laughs> She white like a gypsy From left hand to right she a swing there Wanna try get to get fling way But you not feel the vibe where them a bring there Need you over right there with me there But you ain't your own and we're not free me She not realize I am the DJ So me take up the mic and then say Tell ya the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, bomb, bomb Diggy, diggy, bring, come, give it to me Tell ya the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, the bomb How was that? Uh... Uh, difficult. <laughs> I, need to, I need to practice, yeah. Um, it's a little bit easier than the first time I did it, but still pretty uh, challenging. Well, seems like a game, better. <laughs> Yeah, the 
80. 80 pounds. It's like more than half my weight. So I went from 80 pounds to 100 to try to keep up with the guys. Keep in mind that I weigh 125 pounds. So this is just short 25 of my full body. Look on the body kind fit, yeah She a top thing, she legit, yeah Just wanna get peace of it, yeah Come and work hard, never yet go to fit, yeah When me go play this hit, yeah Take up the mic and spit, yeah Tell ya the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, bomb, bomb Diggy, diggy, bring, come, give it to me Tell ya the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, the bomb, bomb, bomb Diggy, diggy, bring, come, give it to me, give it to me, girl Alright, oh. Let's go, come on, girl Come on, Chelsea All right, Ashley, <laughs> Chelsea. So um, you guys have been working out with nothing but guys today. How's it feel? What's it like working out with nothing but guys? I love it. It pushes me to do a lot more and to work a lot harder so I don't look like a little girl or a puny person. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like I can learn a lot from guys just because there's really not many women out there, still catch my breath, that um, are comfortable in the weight room. And it is um, really good to like, work out with someone that pushes you and can lift heavier weight to push you to lift even more. Especially if you're bodybuilding, I'm doing figure as well. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's the perks of working out with guys. Yeah, and they also get to, I guess, give us little tricks that they've learned growing up that, you know, we didn't have a chance to do those agility workouts or hit workouts when we were dancers. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Let's go eat. Oh,